I'm Sue Alcock, I'm Medical Director in the Trust. I've worked here now for just over a year and I am the Executive Director who's sponsoring the single EPR project as one of the Step Up to Great Bricks. So I um, joined this project part way through but uh, the commitment is that we will have all of our uh, trust services being using a single electronic patient record which we've now decided will be System 1 and are in the process of uh, planning and implementing. This is really positive because this isn't just about our trust, this is also about our place within the system of Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. So the commitment across the whole of the system is to use System 1 for as many patients as possible because that will obviously enable us as clinicians and patients to have one record for all of our healthcare needs, which can only be positive. The fuller picture we have of a patient and for the patient, the better for the care that we can provide. Work recently has been all around um, signing the contract with System 1, so it's all legally set up, which is great. We're live now on that. The main piece of work after that was about agreeing how data migration would go, which I know sounds very technical and I'm not a techie, so I apologise for using that word. But what it means is we had to decide an approach for moving patient records from Rio onto System 1. And we've decided that we will move all patient records onto System 1 from a safety point of view. With that in mind, we've agreed and we are currently looking through to improve the data in Rio so that we don't just transfer rubbish into rubbish. We want to make our rubbish into really good data so that when you get System 1 live, a lot of the data inaccuracies will be solved. They're not going to be perfect and it's going to be a piece of ongoing work, but one of the things that clinicians wanted when all of the roadshows were being done was to have better quality data as part of this project. So we've stuck with that as a core element. In terms of Go Live, we're working towards summer of 2020. There's leeway built into that plan, just in terms of making sure that we keep quality and safety at the heart of all of our decisions, because we will only transfer and go live as and when it's absolutely safe to do so, and that is our commitment. Lots of you recently volunteered to get involved in the clinical element of moving data from Rio to System 1, so thank you very much for doing that. Obviously we want everyone to keep involved and if you haven't yet got involved and you want to, please let us know and do so. There's plenty of capacity and the more people that are involved the better because uh, we really want this to make a difference for patients but also to make you know staff's lives easier. I know how hard it is as a clinician myself you know, navigating records, so we need to make it as simple. I think my ask is please bear with us because we know that whenever we do you know some change in IMT systems there will always naturally be some glitches so you know we will be sorting out the plans around the go live to make sure that everybody's supported but uh, that's the main ask is just just be patient and get involved and be supportive.